We have been talking all week again about the Gulf of Mexico oil spill, but some new stories got our attention this week. A Harvard hoax, a new Miss USA, and a new pregnancy for John Travolta and Kelly Preston, right? Here with an early wrap on the week's news is Yahoo Web Life editor Heather Cabot, GQ Washington correspondent Anne Marie Cox, and Pete Dominic from Sirius Radio. That's S I R I. <laughs> And XM, Sirius right. XM radio. We're As all, opposed uh, to Sirius radio. Right, Sirius XM satellite radio. Because if it were Sirius radio, you would be the last guy we would want here. No, I am a comedian. R I. <laughs> but I have a serious political show, so. Yeah. Let's just look at the panel real quickly. A beautiful, bald, beautiful, bald. Interesting it's, it's, I think observation. It's, what what, it's balance in today's television. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Balance. You gotta have that. A, you gotta have that. Both fair. Can we talk about oil? Best. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I like that. All right. Uh, can we talk about the oil spill? Does anybody want to talk about the oil spill? I'm incensed. I'm outraged. I'm what? Incensed, outraged, and worried, and scared, and and you're not even in the White House. Um, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I came up here from Washington, and this is just freaking people out because I mean it's not the same as Katrina. I think that the, that Obama is not going to carry that same kind of political capital, right? Or lose that same kind of political capital, right? But this is the worst environmental disaster in American history. Certainly, and possibly. It, it, it's looking more and yeah, more like exactly it. right. Can, can, can we can we can we just quickly just talk about the way that we use it? I mean, I, I'm on national TV. Let me just take. If next time I go to the grocery store and I see someone buying a case of bottled water, I'm going to take my canvas bag, I'm going to throw it over their head, and I'm going to punch them over it. Why do you need 100 bottles? Memorial Day is coming up. Get a thermos. Keep refilling it. Get, it buy a bike. It, we use all this. That's why we need it. I like it. I like the outrage. And be careful about your, and be careful about your seafood. Actually, there's another there's a study that came out this week related mm -hmm. to this. In 40 years, if we keep fishing the way that we're fishing mm -hmm. now, there mm -hmm. will be no commercially sustainable seafood no. left. No, well, I, I did my, 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 my shrimp and crew so in <laughs> Milwaukee. They're taking f former industrial buildings in Milwaukee and they're growing perch in the buildings because, because there's of, yeah. the, the well, lakes won't sustain the person. And I have to say this live stream now that we mm -hmm. can actually watch of the lake, I think that is going to continue to outrage the public. I mean, I feel yeah. like yeah. the public, we've, we've been watching the pictures on TV, but now that we can see it live unfolding right there, streaming into our living rooms. Do you think for a minute that they didn't want those pictures out oh, so course. people wouldn't realize, exactly. oh my God, it's coming out at 50,000 barrels a day? Right. moment and, yesterday. So, when and they, we're when just now getting the video. NASA images that were, were taken to see yeah. the, the, the true extent of that arm. It's like yeah. looking like it's wow. coming in to strangle. Look, None watching of this them has been try to manage the message. So Watch them try to manage the message is yeah. driving me. Well, we, we didn't think, and oh, we, 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 and then the government <laughs> saying, well, we, we, we took their word. Really, really. When All did we right. start taking their word? All right. Sorry, Adam Wheeler. Wheeler. Anybody Yeager. know who Adam Wheeler is? Well, I think the whole country, the whole world does now. Mm -hmm. His resume uh, used to be very good. Yes. Now it's like that, not needed. Not yeah, not needed. <laughs> does anybody here know how he was able to fake the SAT scores? I cannot figure that out. How could he do that? I mean, I can understand. So you've maybe done that. I actually did transfer. do that. Yeah. But what the you do. SAT scores, I, I mean, this guy is brilliant. I mean, this is a very sad story. Sure. And I must say that I really applaud his parents for his stepping His parents outing him. Yes. Are the kid who faked everything. Right. No, but I mean, know. look, they, how hard was that for them to come forward and, sure. and basically say, you yeah. know what, our son is culpable. That's a noble and, thing. You know, and it's a All sad right. story. I'm turning my kids in if they're frauds. I'm going to do it. I think that's called <laughs> well, good parenting. I actually, I know what, the kid needs help. I actually, there's an argument to be made that maybe Harvard should count, like, being able to successfully perpetuate a fraud as part of the admissions yeah. process. Well, you have to be Because a lot of people smart. who graduate and from Harvard way, are frauds. And oh, by the way, how is it that the local prosecutor is the guy who is involved in this? Where's the where's the administration of Harvard? Where, it, right, they've been right. invisible Where's the classical all Armenian all scholar that figured yeah. out this guy does <laughs> not First of all, good to hear Harvard Armenia. getting bad press. And secondly, <laughs> this kid's got a so great... So you went to Yale. A great, <laughs> yeah, right. My, sec, my, my safety school. Yeah. University of Phoenix Online, full scholarship for football. Here, No, this kid's set for life. Right. Set for life. I guarantee and I'm not even joking. Wall Street is recruiting him right now. They right. love a scammer. And He's Leo, got a job. And Leo DiCaprio will play him in the movie. That's all right. All right. All uh, right. The new Miss USA, the USA uh, pageant, had its own phony scandal before the uh, pageant happened with the lingerie ads and right. all this other stuff. As it turns out, she's not only the first Arab American to win the Miss USA contest, but also the first Miss USA winner to have been a poll contest winner as well. <laughs> and you mean P O L E? I so like that's okay. I, uh, there's the picture. Yeah. I had her on my radio show yesterday for half an hour. Yeah. And then we went out for drinks last night. I'm, I'm lying. Like. I'm 
Yes. I'm lying like Adam Wheeler. But right. here's the okay. thing. Uh, I, I had a poll in the studio just uh -huh. to make it go. No, here's the story. I, I want to switch this around. Yeah. I, this woman is beautiful. Mm -hmm. She's smoking hot. She's right. really smart. Right. And, has a, and is very funny, which is upsetting when a beautiful person is, it has a good sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. But but <laughs> here, can we talk about pageants for a second? Can we just? I have two daughters. I mean, I, why is there no man pageant? Here's the, Harry. Here, oops. Here's what's important. If in case this scandal results in her being stripped of her title, so they love it. she'll yeah, always they it. she'll always have something to lean back on. Oh, oh really? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> man pageant. Yeah, Harry. <laughs> Did you care about this story? I mean, honestly, the no. thing that I only cared about, really, when I even heard about it, was that she tripped during the evening. Well, I mean, that was, that was my favorite thing. Blip. Was that they, after she won, they said, "Ask me about it after I had pizza." Uh, yeah, yeah, and that too. Yeah, the girls eat. Beautiful women can eat. Right. Last but not least on our agenda, John and Kelly having a baby. She's 47 years old. I think it's great. Isn't it sweet? It, 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 it's okay. so sweet. I'm He's sorry. No, it's, it's not sweet. sweet. It's not sweet. Let's have a conversation. They've been through terrible tragedy. I'm not going to take a shot right. at them, but can we have a conversation about how old is too old to purposely get pregnant? Oh. I, I, I mean. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, I, 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 you had that discussion with uh, your wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ask her very about good. that. Heather and repeat. <laughs> Thank you all very, very much for being here. My wife is 80, by the way, and pregnant <laughs> right now. So. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.